let's talk about the science of weight loss. Hill strike. Um, that's this little Nike thing commercial we did a few years back. Anyway, some B-roll from that. Let's talk about weight loss. Okay, today we're in Thailand. I'm on my motorbike. I'm injured. I am unable to ride a bicycle for quite some time due to a spinal injury. Um, so I'm on the motorbike. You know, people are like, oh, you're going to get fat. You know, like, you're so lean. How are you going to stay lean? You know, during riding, you're so lean, man. Like, I am lean. All right? I'm, the, I'm the leanest people person most people have ever seen in their life. Right? In real life, I am super, super lean. You can see all my muscles. Like, even that mirror shot there, you can just see the, you can see where the muscles start and stop. The veins, the sinew, the tendons. Like, I've just I've got veins everywhere, all right? Yeah, there's, there's definitely people out there who are leaner than me, but they're very, very rare. So how have I maintained such a lean body fat for decades? Effortlessly, all right? No restriction. I eat pizza. Some of that pizza for breakfast, all right? Calorie deficit, Drew. It's a calorie deficit. Nah, it's not. I don't believe in that. I do, I've got my protocols. I've formulated my very own special protocols. That sounds all salesy and quacky, but it's true. All right. If you've been following me long enough, you know that's true. You see all my girlfriends, if, they, if they're tubby when they come live with me, they soon lean out. If they're lean, they stay lean. All right. So it's just, this is how it is. Nobody gets fat in my protocol, all right, ever. Like, you know, none of my girlfriends are, are fat, are they? All right? none, of, none of the long-term during rider protocol people are fat, all right? Yeah, I mean, you might have people who have the metabolic rebound, you know, and they get a little bit fluffy, but they would become obese, obese if they were doing anything else, all right? Uh, people think adaptive thermogenesis is a myth, all right? Literally, people just think it's calories in, calories out. You can starve yourself and it doesn't damage your metabolism. Hormones have got nothing to do with weight loss. That's what people think. People think hormones have got nothing to do with weight loss. Most people in the weight loss world don't even know what TSH means. Do you know what TSH means? thyroid stimulating hormone this is a massive con uh, controller of weight gain fat gain fluid gain often in adaptive thermogenesis if you've read the the volumes of dr ansel keys's work the biology of human starvation which is everybody should read that those but they're pretty boring because it's all sciencey stuff but if you're interested in in weight loss and understanding how it actually works and i encourage people to hunt down copies of the biology of human starvation and read it if you want the summary edition just get the uh, i think it's ross tucker the great starvation experiment get his book it's quite easy to read it's sort of the fun version it's the american version you know and uh, it's very very easy to read pick up a snail here no snail on the road this that's a big snail look how big it is look how big it is it's massive so if i put it over here and no, i'll put it on the other side of the road this is me man i don't have any caffeine in my system right now this is just me every day this is like at 6 a.m in the morning all right, just get out some side and get some air in my face. And we're gonna put this big snail. This is what my protocols do. It gives you energy, man. It gives you energy to care. It gives you energy to observe and to experience life. All right, my protocols are unrivaled. All right, chuck it over the fence into the soft grasses and leaves there. Keep the snail safe. <laughs> Picking up snails, scorpions, and snakes off the road in Thailand. Always have, always will. Um, you know, so people have to understand about the hormones, man. Like, you, you got to understand the hormones. So, you know, read Ross Tucker's novel, fun book summary of the Great Starvation Experiment. Yeah, the, the 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 biology, the biology of human starvation, and that when you read that, that'll go. You you have a light bulbs, ting ting ting. It's a long read, man. All right, most people aren't going to read it. It's boring. All right, if you want the short version, just get my protocols and start today, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's sort of like, it's a bit like, um, you know, you can, you can read books about sex or you can have sex, all right? Which, which you want to do? <laughs> I recommend doing both um, just to learn up on stuff. But, you know, the practicals, what I, I reckon is the best, especially when it comes to weight loss, because you want to put it, my protocols into practice because I'll tell you what. Being lean, staying lean, that takes time. Like healing your metabolism, establishing a new set point for your metabolism, that takes time. How long? It's different for different people. Have you used a contraceptive pill? Did you shut down your 
hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis using hormonal birth control. How many years did you do that for? Four weeks? Okay, you'll be good to go. 14 years? Then you've crushed your testosterone, your your endogenous endogenous testosterone levels will be suppressed, so it's going to take you longer to, to, to bounce back up, okay? That's what people don't understand. They're like, I'm just going to take a pill and it'll do it for me. It's like, no, it won't. I mean, even still the bodybuilders, man, they're, they're, they're doing steroids plus diuretics to lean out, plus estrogen blockers like letrozole, et cetera, and then doing massive calorie restriction, like DNP, all this just crazy pharmaceutical mix of stuff. And some of them are okay to use, but a lot of them are very dangerous. Clenbuterol, very dangerous, hard in the heart. You know, just all these things. And I was like, man, like, if only people did my protocols, they wouldn't have to do most of this stuff. And they would definitely, 1,000%, have a better quality of life. Right? Look at the life I live, man. Every day I wake up. Like, I woke up this morning at about I know, 5 a.m. I saw the, the, the sun just rising the horizon just a little bit just cracking through the curtains and i'm just bouncing out of bed man got no caffeine in my system i'm just i gotta get outside and get some just get some movement going on i can't ride my bike doctor's orders so i'm gonna ride the motorbike safely you know just to just get some movement just get outside and get going all right pick up some snails just you know just just where can i be helpful in town all right i just want to get out and around town and say where, how can i help some people i help the snail i'm just, I'm just looking for things to help be helpful with right now that's the sort of reality I'm in, okay? How can I help? Uh, I have energy to help. When you're lacking in energy, you become, we become very egocentric. And we, the more egocentric we become, the more we suffer. Yes, you, everybody has to have an ego where we look after ourselves, we wear our life jacket, okay? But some people, they, they just grabbing all the life jackets for themselves. Uh, they're not caring about anyone else because they're suffering. They are just doing this calories in, calories out thing. If you want to learn the truth throughout weight loss, if you want to have the freedom, visit DuranRod.com, get my ebook. Seriously, they are the best books ever, ever written for humans, all right, on the topic of how to put realistic fat loss into your daily life and live. And the very first day, you, your very first, the first meal you have on my recipe list, on my food charts, you'll feel better. All right, mentally, you just feel better. And I don't, I don't care how, how you look or whatever. If you're not feeling good, you're losing. All right? For me, life's about feeling good. Looking good, being lean, that's just the bonus. But more importantly, I want to feel good. And that's why I can't starve. Because starving sucks.